Alright guys, hello and welcome back. You know the drill for this video? It's another weapon review. As you judged by the title, it's gonna be the Jet Tenderizer. This weapon is the Grade of Legendary, uh, attack speed of 67, and the mobility of 65. So... This weapon can charge up, and it has a small area damage. We're gonna go into gallery and test this out. So I'm looking at the wiki right now. It says 127 to the body and 178 to the head. A direct hit can actually be 254 damage at max. Charge it up. Let me test the area damage. How small is the radius? That radius is really non-existent. Not, never mind. This melee actually looks pretty cool. You know, I'm just do one. Head. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Six tiny charges. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Seven weak charges for the body as well. Anyways, let's just get on to the weapon review. Our first match will take place on... Knife Guard. Like I said, melees are better off for both of them. I'll tell you, this melee is pretty good. Might be one of my favorites in the game. It's also one of the best designed weapons in the game. This looks like a big old mallet you would attach, like... You would just attach a bunch of things onto it, and th that's just what it looks like. You're gonna have to use this thing in close range if you want to do good with this weapon. Also, you're gonna have to hit directly if you want the full damage done. Cause I'm telling you, it doesn't do that much if you like you hit next. I mean, that is the area damage that they just done. Like, I mean, some weapons with area damage already suck to begin with, but just still, you also find this a bit balancing. Like, just overall. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Okay, third, I'm not doing that. Like, so far, I'm not doing too bad. Like, third, third is also kind of a difficult. I suck at hitting directly sometimes. Guess what? I think we all suck at direct hitting. Like, like at least mostly. Bro, I literally have the accuracy of a potato. Like a mass potato. Before the enemy's done. Bro, some of the challenges are easy. I'm not trying to bet that, that if that bull hit me, I would have been dead. I mean, I did okay. Anyways, let's move on to the second match. Our 
second map will take place on the classic pool. Ain't no better than pool that one. Where everybody at? Where'd you go? I'm telling you, this is only better in closer ranged maps. Where'd you go? Wait, how many players are there anyway? Eh. You shouldn't be using the sniper here. It's a close range map. I'm just wiping the non existent sweat off my hand. Got another kill. Alright, bees, do your. Charging up sound is good, but there's one thing I want to point out that's so freaking unrealistic about this weapon. Like, you cannot, you cannot rotate this around your wrist, I'm telling you why. Who's next? You know, I'm in the mood to max out my own turret, but I don't want to waste that many gems. Um, where are the enemies at? Saw one. Oof. It's actually kind of. It's actually kind of hard to directly hit, yeah, like I said. You know, that's all close range maps are filled with. Tryhards. You know, the, the actual usual, etc. Just strafe left and right. It's a good strategy. Do you do that when you see an alligator? Yeah. Eh, doesn't matter. We finished the match. You know what that means? I get to open my fighter's chest. I opened one and didn't get that good of a reward. Just also wipe the non-existent sweat off my phone. Actually, it's not really non-existent. I see it right now. But let's open our fighter chest and see what we get. Maybe later. Well, pff, at least it's for a weapon. You know, that's actually quite a hard question to kind of answer, but... Well, actually, it's not that hard to really answer, but there'll be a question in the comments for y'all to answer. So... Go ahead, answer if you really want to. And I'll actually see you guys in the next weapon review.